So today we're going to be meditating on creating um, and visualizing our soul's life purpose. And I know that might seem kind of intense and like, oh my gosh, that's huge. But this is something that is, uh, we should always be meditating on our soul's life purpose and what it is that our soul is telling us, right? So sometimes we lose ourselves. And so this is going to help us bring that into perspective. Okay. So I want you to close your eyes, feel your feet on the ground, your sit bones on the, on the chair, relax your shoulders, relax your, relax your jaw, your eyes, relax your teeth, your, your hands, your arms, your feet, relax. And just begin to observe your breath, the inhale and the exhale, inhale. Hold your breath and then exhale. Again, we're gonna inhale, hold, and then exhale. Again, inhale, hold, and then exhale. And one last time, inhale and exhale. And I want you to visualize the light, a beautiful light hovering over your whole body. And then that light comes into your heart. So come into your heart. And I want you to see your heart, just illuminate, illuminate your heart. See it, just expand out of your chest. See that heart just radiate out of your chest. See your heart. And I want you to feel that feeling of feeling alive. Feel that feeling of feeling alive. What, is it, what does it mean to you to feel alive? What does it mean for you to feel awake? in your body? When do you feel most alive in your body? When do you feel most alive in your body? And what, is that, what does that energy feel like? Do you feel that energy in your, your hands and your feet and your arms and your legs? Like, what is that? Maybe when you're walking on a beautiful fall day as I was just talking about, or maybe doing some yoga, or maybe just some, you know, just, just some stretching, when do you feel alive in your body? And I want you to see yourself doing some action that makes you feel alive in your body. So maybe start to visualize seeing yourself walking in a beautiful fall day or maybe swimming. Maybe some of you love swimming and that's like your thing when your body feels like, when your body feels like so strong and alive and energetic. For me, yesterday I ran and I haven't run in a while. So I was, I can, I can run. And I was like, even sweating a little bit. I'm going to run again today. I'm just enjoying that with the endorphins, right? So those endorphins are chemicals that are just natural. You don't have to buy them. You, they're not for sale. They exist within your body. It's up to us to cultivate them. And we can cultivate them through exercise, through through even meditation, you can cultivate um, the feel-good chemicals as well because you can take yourself on a journey as well mentally. So just visualize yourself doing that thing that brings your body um, vibrancy and exuberance. And now I want you to shift gears and I want you to visualize a moment in time when you felt really excited about something. That your, not only your body, but your mind were aligned to feel a joy, to feel a, a great satisfaction, to feel um, just an overwhelming amount of happiness. What is that moment? What is that moment that you felt that? So 
we'll just hold that in there. For me, it was definitely the birth of my children. That was one of the best moments of my life where I just felt this is this is what life is about you know you know that those moments where you're like this is what life is about definitely the birth of my children but for you what is that what is that thing um i feel that when people uh give me positive feedback as well i feel that energetic energy so now that you've identified what that is, and if you're still struggling to think about what the heck gives me, you know, what is it? That's something to think about, right? That's something to meditate on, right? If you are struggling with like even identifying what that is, then that is where you do the work, right? Like, what is it? Unpack it. Like you would a Russian doll, right? You know, the Russian dolls, you take one layer and then another layer and another layer. You've got to unpack what it is, because unless you un don't, un if you don't unpack it, you're never going to get to your soul's life purpose. You're really not going to get to your soul life purpose. Now, I'm not saying just because I had that experience, my soul life purpose is to have children. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that was a, like the highest feeling, but I've also had other feelings when people, again, give me uh, acknowledgement that maybe I taught a really good yoga class for them, or they had some sort of awareness in their meditation, that, that kind of stuff feeds my soul, right? That's my soul's purpose. I know that. And I'm working on developing that. So what maybe on those in that, what you identified as that feeling when, besides it from being like level 10, when could, when was it like a level five where you had that, that experience, just like on maybe on a day-to-day -day soul purpose, ex you know, experience what is it that really lit you up really got you excited really um really just allowed you to feel like you were really alive like you were really in the moment that this is what life was about because we can often get really off track of like you know this isn't what life's about <laughs> Right. So when you do have those feelings, we're like, this is, this is, I feel energized by this situation. What is it? Maybe it's gardening. Maybe it's, you know, playing pool. Maybe it's um, just having nice walks on the beach with a partner, like with, you know, and then through your work and it doesn't have to be work related, but what, if it was work related, what would, what would that look like? You know, if you were, if it was almost like a job and someone was expecting you to do it or paying you to do something, right? What would that look like? Because maybe maybe you're, in a, you're doing your job right now, it may not be your sole purpose, but you're doing it to have a financial abundance that will allow you to do your sole purpose. So if your sole purpose is traveling, you need money to travel. You can't just make money pop out of air, right? You need a job. So this maybe that's what your job is to you so you can allow you to do your sole purpose but still identify what that sole purpose is if it's traveling it's if it's you know having a second home or something and, and having vacation home or um having freedom to just enjoy um the moment with a spouse or, or you know a partner or your children you know what is what is it that brings you that that sole purpose in that moment and just meditate on that and visualize yourself doing the sole purpose thing that you identified. So you visualized your soul's 
purpose and what creates that energy in your soul and light within your soul. And again, coming back to how that makes your body feel. How does that make your body feel? How does that energy make your body feel and experience that feeling? And relax into the feeling, relax into that, knowing that you can bring yourself back to that feeling at any time. You can bring yourself to that, back to that energy at any time. And allow that light then to come back from your heart and allow it to radiate from your heart. And you can bring in that all that good energy that you've been cultivating through today's meditation and let it, let it just descend back into your heart. So you can send that love and healing energy out to the universe and to yourself. And then allow your feet again to be planted on the ground. Feel what it feels like to have your feet on the ground and your ankles and your kneecaps and your thighs and your root and your solar plexus and your heart, shoulders, elbows, hands, throat, mouth, teeth, jaw, eyes, head, third eye, and, and all the way to the, the top of your head, which is your crown connecting the energy from the crown all the way to the base of your spine. Imagine that you have a long string coming from the base of your spine all the way to the top of your head. Feeling so alive that Kundalini is a Kundalini energy that flows through your whole spine that sometimes when we feel stuck, it's because our spine is stuck our spine is stuck so we don't want our spine to be stuck <clears throat> okay and i want you to open your eyes <clears throat> and i want you to write in the chat what your soul's purpose is or what came to you because i think when you actually tell it to another person like everyone here that it makes you accountable you know um You know, so for me, um, mine is to help others connect to their spiritual center because everyone has their spiritual center. So help them connect with that and to also um, have a healthier and more grounded existence. You know, to help people feel, feel better, feel healthier feel more alive, right? If you, if you don't feel healthy, and if you're like trapped by anxiety and stress and you can't sleep, then that's not, that's not living. All right, that's your, that's your ticket to leave. You have to write in the comments. I'm gonna get hard on you guys because I you guys are so quiet sometimes. It drives me crazy. Okay, great. <laughs> Entertain others, I love that. Love that. I'll have to, I'll have to go to your holiday party <laughs> for that one. To share my learning and be a positive force. Beautiful. Keep it coming. You can leave after you, you write it. <laughs> 